today I was on the treadmill at the gym, oh. and uh, each treadmill at my gym has its own television, right? So the television had a picture of a Vanity Fair cover, and it was featuring Tiger Woods. Now, in the back of my head, I, I, I can't hear anything. There's no sound on this television because I don't have my earphones plugged in, right? But I'm looking at this cover, and I thought, oh, it's a joke. How funny. Vanity Fair, Tiger Woods, they have him look like a tough guy. He's shirtless. Joke, right? Yes. It's not a joke. Vanity Fair's February issue has this cover. It's Tiger Woods. And all of a sudden, Tiger Woods is no longer that uh, wholesome golf player. He's uh, a badass. He's holding the weights. He's shirtless. And he looks like he's ready to go to jail. What do you think, first of all, before I go to mine? What do you think look, of this look for Tiger? No, he looks fine. Like, the look is fine, right? That's not what bothers me. What bothers me is, the, I guess, the message behind it and the way that people perceive him now, right? Mm -hmm. Where it's like, before, there was a positive image of Tiger because he was a wholesome family guy, golfer, uh, great athlete, right? Not intimidating or scary. Not intimidating or scary. But now, all of a sudden, I feel like this is also a positive portrayal of Tiger Woods. Now he's that tough badass, you know? He's no longer that wholesome guy, but oh, don't he look sexy. <laughs> That, I mean, no matter what he does, he's going to look like a great guy. There's going to be positive portrayal of him. Is that what's happening, though? That's Look, everyone has their own reaction to the cover, mm -hmm. right? My reaction to it is, wow, they're making him look like a tough guy, like a badass. I mean, any guy or any young boy who looks at that cover is going to think, wow, he looks tough. You know, like, that's, that's the type of portrayal that they're trying to push. And it... It bothers me for, uh, for some reason, because for me, this is not shedding a negative light on him at all. I think it is. For others, it might be. Well, especially since what's happening now with mm -hmm. this whole scandal, and we thought you were such a nice guy, Tiger. We didn't think you'd screw around with 15 other women and cheat mm -hmm. on your wife and then leave this voicemail like any other dumb guy would. Mm -hmm. But since it has, there's this negative view of him now. I think this adds to it more because people are like, man, I thought Tiger Woods would pose like that. He looks like he's mad. He looks like he belongs in prison. He has a scully on and no shirt. And by the way, this picture was taken back in 06. It was so messed up. Mm -hmm. Vanity Fair, well, I forget the, the, the photographer's name. She's a famous one. She does a lot of shoots with people. Mm -hmm. She had these piled up. And now they do it. So I think it's a calculated move on Vanity Fair's part. Mm -hmm. Saying, oh, you know, there's this, all this thing going on about Tiger. We never use these photos. This would be great to use these now. Mm -hmm. Tiger the badass. Tiger the cheater. But, I mean, I, I don't mind. But they're doing it because they know how people will react. And I, maybe I'll be wrong, mm -hmm. but I think in general the reaction is going to be, oh, look at this guy. And, uh, even if it's in the back of a lot of people's minds. Because a lot of right. people are, just, are mad at him right now when they have this really none of their business. But this kind of, I think, will add to it. And I, I don't know if that's what Vanity Fair was going for, but they're just like, oh, we have some provocative, different pictures of Tiger mm -hmm. that we've never released. Let's do right. it now and do this cover story. You can tell he's skinny there. Not skinny, but mm -hmm. he's put on weight. That's one of the things people were talking about lately. He says all this weight on him, and mm -hmm. it's helped his game, whatever, and all that stuff. He looks way skinnier there. That's what. I, that's the first thing I noticed. I said, is, was this, was this pre-lifting weights? Because he's got, like, some 10-pounders in his hand. You know, it's really funny how people interpret that picture. Mm -hmm. Because for me, when I looked at that picture, I, like, the first thing I thought is, whoa, he looks pretty sexy. Okay. Like, I immediately thought good things about him. I didn't think negative things about him, right? But for a, for a man, of course, I mean, you're going to see that. You're going to see the negative uh, connotations in that picture that I, I didn't notice at all. I mean, I, I wouldn't care. Mm -hmm. I like different looks of things. If, if I was... If, it wasn't, if he wasn't perceived as such a golden boy in the first place, I thought that this would be great to do. Because, like, oh, look at Tiger, how he's doing this now. But since there's been nothing but negative stories on him, mm -hmm. anything that comes out that's different will automatically be seen as negative. Mm -hmm. I don't see it as negative, but it will be. Because I'm not mad at him for what he did. Mm -hmm. The people that should be mad at him are the ones that are mad at him. Well, and his family. But yeah. I don't know. It's... We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I, I think that it's also um, an age issue as well. Okay. Like, I think younger people are going to look at that picture and they're going to think, oh, Tiger looks like a badass, whereas older people are going to immediately think about his infidelities and they think about all the negative things that he's done in his lifetime, right? Or if they see a, or if there was a tattoo that no one ever saw mm -hmm. across his chest that <laughs> says thug life, then, you know, I guess at that point you got to figure something different about the guy. <laughs>